Welcome to Recombu, this is Tom. We've got a Sapphire Edge HD3 mini PC here. I'm just going to quickly take it out of the box before we get on with setting it up. Okay, now this is a so-called mini PC setup. It's a very stripped down affair. Basically, you just get this in the box. Uh, no monitor, no keyboard, no mouse. You've got to supply all the additional peripherals. It's a... Uh, let's take a close look at this in a sec. Just see what else you get in the box. It's a DVI to HDMI cable along with an HDMI cable, power cable, and adapter, and a little stand, which screws in at the base. It's got a sort of rubbery kind of feel to it. Uh, round at the front, there's a little flap here, which if you there's a couple of USB ports there. There's extra connections around here on the back. VGA, HDMI, two more USB ports and Ethernet LAN. Right, now let's get this set up and then we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here's the HD3 Mini all set up. Um, we've gone for a pretty basic sort of setup here with just a mouse and keyboard just to give you an idea of how quickly you can get it going, you know, just to show it off as a sort of plug and play solution. Um, it's pretty solid, it's running Windows 7 64-bit edition, it's powered by a 1.65 gig dual core CPU and it's got 4 gig of RAM, so that's more than enough for basic everyday tasks, browsing the web, working, checking email. Uh, you don't get Office pre-installed, so you're going to have to go about doing that yourself or as we've done, as we do, use Google Docs. Internet Explorer 8 comes as standard, but as you can see, we've wasted no time downloading Chrome. And yeah, for surfing the web, checking videos on YouTube, it's absolutely fine. So that's the uh, Sapphire HD3 Mini PC in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.